What's going on Muscle Monsters? Align Gonzalez here and today I want to talk about genetics. My cousin was uh, up here from Miami this weekend. We're driving to the store and we're talking about fitness and nutrition and so on and so forth. And he asked me, you know, why is it that I look different than my brother does in terms of muscular development, right? Um, and he realizes that my brother has been training for longer than I have, but just the way our bodies are shaped, just the type of physique that we've achieved are completely different. So for example, he's got a more bulky bodybuilder style physique and mine is more of an athletic build. Um, so his question really is, do you guys train differently and do you guys train different, differently on purpose to achieve that kind of physique? And the answer is no. Um, this is just, let's say we both train exactly the same, which for the most part, it's very similar. We have the same goal, get bigger. The difference is genetics, right? Even though we're brothers, our genetics in terms of building muscle are different, okay? For him, it has been a little bit easier, not that he hasn't had to put in the work, but it comes a little bit faster, right? Results come a little bit faster. He's what most people would call a genetic freak. I, on the other hand, um, don't. So we both might work just as hard. However, my results are still going to come slower. That's why I can't ever compare myself to him or any other man in general because genetics, okay? And that's why you shouldn't either. So when people ask me, you know, how much do you weigh? How tall are you? And the reason I'm asking is because I want to look like you do. Um, I don't like to answer that question. And the reason is, is because if I tell you that I'm 160 pounds and I'm 5'7", then you're going to assume, hey, I'm 5'7", too. So if I weigh 160 pounds, I'm going to look like that. And the truth is you're not right. The shape of the muscles, uh, for example, in your arms, your chest um, is all going to develop differently than they do for me. You might have naturally bigger arms or better insertions in your arms. Maybe your chest is not as developed as mine, even after you built it to the same degree. You're just not going to look the same, just like I'm not going to look the same as my brother. Because again, genetics play a huge role role because it doesn't matter if you take two guys who are exactly the same uh, in terms of their nutrition, how they train, and maybe even similar body styles or body structures rather. Um, once they start to pack on muscle, they're going to look different. So it doesn't matter if they're both 8% body fat, 175 pounds, 5'7", uh, they are going to look completely different, right? the distribution of the muscle. Maybe some guys are more leg dominant, right? They just naturally have bigger legs. Some guys have naturally bigger arms, but smaller torsos. Some guys have bigger torsos and smaller arms like myself. Um, and the list goes on. So it's completely fine if you want to look at different physiques and say, man, um, that is inspiring. That motivates me. But to say that I want to look like this, um, it's just not going to happen. Um, the most you can do is build your body to the best of your ability and whatever happens, happens. At the end of the day, building muscle, being healthier, eating better, training your body is going to be, you're going to get a positive outcome. You're going to look better than you did before and that's all you can really aim for is to look better than you did before. Right? So if we take somebody who wants to be a competitive bodybuilder and we give them the same training, nutrition, and even years trained as Ronnie Coleman, even the same drugs, so on and so forth, he's still not going to look nearly as big or whatever as Ronnie Coleman. He might never be able to step foot on the Olympia stage because he doesn't have the genetics. It's not that he doesn't have the ability to work hard. It's not that he doesn't have the ability to stay consistent or stay on his nutrition. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with genetics. 
Don't use this though as a cop out, right? Genetics are your genetics. We should always train to improve no matter what. So even if you feel, hey, I have shitty genetics, then what I would say is, well, maybe you should focus even a bit harder than if you did have the good genetics because now you know that you're gonna have to push a bit longer than most people would, right? So don't make having bad genetics an excuse. Make it something to push you. And I'll also say this, before you jump the gun and say, yeah, I knew it, I have shitty genetics, most people have average genetics. That's why it's average, right? So don't assume that you have bad genetics. That is just as rare as having good genetics. And even if you do have bad genetics, at the end of the day, you need to focus on improving you and getting better than you.